Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe, and today we're going to be discussing Taylor Swift at the Chiefs vs. Bengals game this past weekend, what she was up to this weekend, who she went to the game with, what she was up to post-game, all that good stuff. To be honest with you, I have absolutely no outline for today's episode. I am just winging it. I'm going off the top of my head. So if I, if I forget something uh, important or you know forget to mention something, leave it in the comments. Please share it with the class. But um, I feel like I have a good idea of what transpired this weekend. So we can get into all of that. So obviously last week we had the VMAs. We discussed that in last week's episode, her victories the awards she's won she won her thanking travis like all that good stuff uh and then she you know laid low for the for the few days following the vmas um but i think we all expected we all knew that she was going to be going to this chiefs Bengals game this weekend uh and my my opinion is that she will be at every single chiefs game that she can be at it will be interesting to see next weekend is the chiefs versus atlanta in in atlanta in a way I feel like last season she did go to a handful of away games but she also skipped a handful of away games and so I'll be curious to see what she does this season if she chooses to go to a place like Atlanta to see him play or if she says you know what it's fine I can skip this game so that will be interesting to see what happens there but let's talk about the Bengals so Sunday afternoon football amazing day for football and you know, last week she came by herself. Uh, she was sitting with Travis's mom, Travis's dad. But this week she brought some friends, some family. So she showed up with Esty and Danielle Heim, I believe. Um, they were actually with Taylor and Travis and Brittany and Patrick at the U.S. Open the week before. But they're obviously really good friends of Taylor Swift and have been for a very, very long time. And it looked like Esty was also there with her boyfriend. Uh, and he was like in a chief shirt and they were both dressed in red and they were very much on theme. And actually last year, Alana Heim, who's the youngest sister of the three, she went to a couple of Chiefs games with Taylor. I remember her specifically at the Chiefs Patriots game in New England. So the Heim sisters are definitely supporters of Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, and the Chiefs, which love to see it. Um, but she was also joined by her mom, Andrea, and her brother, Austin. Um, her brother has also gone to a handful of Chiefs games. Um, obviously, they were at the Super Bowl last year or this year, but last season. They were, I think her brother was also at the Jets game last season. He dressed up as Santa Claus for the Christmas game against the Raiders last season too, which was funny. So he's definitely been around, but he was rocking that Chiefs hat, which was awesome to see. And Andrea was wearing red and then she had a, a little 87 patch on her shirt, which was very cute and very sweet. And, and, and then we also saw in the box too, some of... Taylor's like aunts and other like extended family. So it was really a family affair for Taylor Swift this week in Kansas City, which you just love to see. I mean, we we knew we had heard <clears throat> before that Taylor's family, because I think she has some family based in St. Louis. And so we had heard that even before Taylor dated Travis, she had family who were Chiefs fans. So it was kind of like a perfect storm that she then began dating Travis. Um, so anyway, love to see that. We also got some videos of Andrea and Donna, Kelsey, Travis's mom, hugging. I, I mean, they've met before, certainly, but it was very cute to see them together and interacting and just like a fun, a fun day of f football for the friends and the family. And I, I think it's cool that Taylor, obviously she's there at these games to support Travis, but it must be nice for her to also go to these games and to have like her friends and family around as well. Um, just like when Travis would go to Taylor Swift concerts, he would bring his friends. I mean, he always was there with Ross, one of his best friends. Um, I just think that's, I think that's very nice. She looked so amazing. The outfit that she had on, I love. She's wearing this like oversized vintage Chiefs shirt, but as a dress, which looked really cute. These knee high black boots. Um, her hair was really cute. It was like half up, half down. She had like a red bow in the back. It looked really cute. I loved the outfit. She's definitely like, she has planned out her outfits for the season. I have no doubt. I feel like she knows exactly what she's going to wear to every single Chiefs game and has it all figured out, 
which I mean, why wouldn't you if you're Taylor Swift? I would too. Um, but the best part is just watching her watch the game and be so intense and so excited. She's, you know, hugging people, high-fiving people, screaming when they do well. There were a lot of shots of her as the game was winding down. It was getting very close. The Chiefs barely won one in the last few seconds off of a field goal. You know, she's freaking out. A lot of people have also been paying attention to the fact that she she hasn't been seen the last two games with Brittany Mahomes. Now, we obviously, they were together the previous weekend in New York, but she last year was frequently spotted with Brittany in the suites. This season so far, she hasn't been. And she's actually been spending a lot of time with one of the other players' fiancés, McCole Hardman. Um, his fiance, I think her name's Kiara. Um, she's been spending, Taylor's been spending a lot of time with her. And actually, she was seen in the box with Taylor yesterday, celebrating, cheering. So I don't, I don't know if that means anything. I know that they became friendly and close last year too. So it's not like some brand new thing, but it's sort of interesting that Taylor's spending time with other people. And actually, Kiara, um, like posted photos of her with with Taylor from the game, and then after the game, they went to the Mahomes' house because they were celebrating Patrick Mahomes' birthday, which is this week. Um, and I saw some pictures of Taylor in the photo booth with Kiara and another friend. Um, and again, it's just, I may be reading way too much into it, but it's kind of interesting. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that shakes out. Um, but Chiefs victory, very close victory. It's been two weeks in a row that the Chiefs have won by the skin of their teeth. Um, so definitely not, you know, not a blowout game by any means. But Taylor, listen, she's been through it as a Chiefs fan last season. I mean, there were some pretty rough games that she had to live through as a as a fan and also as like a partner of a player. So I think she knows how to handle the ups and downs of a, of a football season. And she's a real fan. Like she is genuinely a real invested fan. She is engaged. She is she is there. Like I, I don't feel like it's put on. I don't feel like she's pretending. I feel like she is locked in and she she wants those Chiefs to win. And I just wish, I think I've said this before, but I would, I so wish that we could get like a podcast episode or like a, um, just like an interview of her just talking about football. Like th- it doesn't even have to be Travis related. I would just love to know what her thoughts are on football now that she's dating Travis. And I would love to know like who her favorite Chiefs players are that are not Travis. Like which players does she like the best? You know, does she watch other teams play? Who else does she like to like? I just would love to kind of pick her brain about it because I feel like she's the kind of person who when she goes all in, she goes all in and she's learning the rules and she's understanding the plays and she's figuring it out. And so I feel like at this point she has good football knowledge and I just would love to know what she thinks about everything involving football. So anyway, that was Taylor's big weekend in Kansas City. I don't know, obviously, like what she's doing this week. I think I assume the Chiefs probably have off today, Monday, um, but then they'll have to be back, you know, back to work, back to practice and all that good stuff this week. So I wouldn't be surprised if Taylor heads back to wherever, Nashville, New York, somewhere else, spends the week there and then decides if she wants to go to uh, Atlanta for the game on Sunday night. Maybe she'll do that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, But we're just we're in the thick of football season and it's really fun. You know, I don't want to get into um, the other stuff that happened this weekend involving Taylor Swift with a Mr. Donald Trump and what he tweeted about her because I want to keep this show positive and um, focus on the good rather than the bad. But I just think it's important. I just I hope Taylor Swift stays safe. I hope she has good people around her. I hope she feels loved. I hope she feels supported because yikes, big yikes. Um, but anyway, that is that for today's show. As always, if I've forgotten something, if I've missed something, share it, please, in the comment section. Would love to hear your thoughts about this weekend, all that good stuff. As always, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.